If you've ever set up a Raspberry Pi, you know that it can be very cumbersome and sometimes a little complicated if you get things wrong. Well, the guys that make Raspberry Pi OS have figured out a way to fix that with Raspberry Pi Imager, and it is so, so much easier to do. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the easiest way to set up a Raspberry Pi with any operating system, so easy, using Raspberry Pi Imager. This came out in 2020, and I'm ashamed that I did not notice it at all. I saw it and didn't think anything of it, I just thought it was another version of Etcher. Far, far from it, guys. You could basically pick any operating system or an image that you downloaded from the web, write it to an SD card and put it in your Raspberry Pi and get it started. This is such a cool tool. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's get on the computer and go through it. All right, so here we are on the website for the Raspberry Pi. And if you need this website, the link is in the description down below. But what we're looking for is the installer for Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager. This came out in like 2020 and I just didn't pay attention because I always showed you guys how to use it in Etcher or how to do a terminal command from your Mac to set this up. So if you're Windows, download it from Windows. If I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download it for a Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. Let that download. It's going to go down to the downloads folder. And it is Imager. We're going to open that up. And once it opens up, we're just going to click and drag this over right there. Okay, we'll close that out. We'll close this out. We'll minimize this. We can eject that now. And now if we go to our launch, there is your Raspberry Pi imager right there. We're going to click on that. It's going to open up. And this is everything you're gonna need. If we go to choose operating system, so cool. You can pick the newest operating system, 32-bit one, or you can pick other OS systems, and then I have them all right here. So if you're still using the older ones, you can go to the older ones, the legacy, or you can go to the newest one. You can pick no desktop environment. You can pick the full version with the desktop environment. Be mindful of that. Make sure you read. If you want the desktop, you make sure you do that. So if we go back, and now we could choose other general purpose operating systems. So we got Ubuntu, we got all these other operating systems that we can load right onto our SD card. Multimedia OS's, great operating systems, gaming emulators, RetroPie, Recall Box. I mean, you got everything right here. Other specific purpose software. Let's click on that. 3D printing, Home Assist. And I've done all these. Let's go to 3D printing operating systems. I wonder what's in there. Oh, Octoprint, we could do that. The newest version of Octoprint, we could go ahead and do that. Or we can click on one of the night builds right here. Let's go back. We can go to miscellaneous and utilities here, an imager, and we can make a bootloader. Do a bootloader right here. You can erase it. Or we could do a custom image. Take the image off the desktop, which I don't have one because we don't need one with this. So what I want to do is we're going to pick, I'm going to go with the 32-bit version because that's more stable from what I've read. And we're going to go with the full desktop environment right here. We're going to go with that one. You click on that one. And at this point, you want to grab your SD card. And I got an adapter. Put your SD card in with your adapter. Plug it in like so. All right, so now it showed up right here. We're gonna choose it, and it's the generic 15 gigs. That's what I know it is. And before we go to write, we're gonna click on this little cog right here. I'm gonna hit deny, and that way it'll just bring into this, and it's gonna be all the options that we need. So first thing I wanna do is enable SSH. Use password authentication, okay. Scroll down here, we're gonna make a password. Make sure that's checked as well. And then we're gonna go to Wi-Fi, and I'm blurring this out right now because you guys don't need to see my Wi-Fi. So let's click on Wi-Fi configuration. It should automatically pick up your SSID, which is your router's name. You put that in there, if, if it's not already filled in, and then you put your password in. Now we'll scroll down a little bit more. Location, I'm gonna set my location. New York, United States, setup wizard. We're gonna skip the setup wizard because mine's gonna be done. Eject media when finished. Play sound, we'll make it play a sound. All right, and we'll save that. And now 
all of our settings, we just set up SSH so we don't have to go through all the process of ejecting the disk once it's done with, you know, normally when we use Etcher and we put it back in and then we got to make an SSH file and then we got to go into the configuration file. We don't have to do any of that now. We just did all that. So now we're going to just go ahead and hit write. Yes. Put in the password for your PC or Mac. Hit OK and let it do its magic. And I'm going to skip this part. What it's going to do is it's going to write and then it's going to verify and then you'll have your SD card. And just for those of you that are on a Mac, and this goes for PCs too, but Mac it's a little different, make sure you turn off your screensaver and your go to sleep hard drive if you're on a PC. On a Mac, well there's a little piece of software that I use called Keep Awake. And this just keeps my Mac awake while it's writing this. So that way if I walk away, it doesn't go into screensaver mode and then hard drive saving mode and stop my writing process. So right now it's on the verify process right now. And there it is. There's boot and it's going to eject it. And I guess that's the sound. <laughs> and that's it, continue. We're done with our image. I have it right here. I'm actually reviewing a 10.1 inch touch screen. My Raspberry Pi stuck in there right now, so I'm gonna put this chip inside here and I'm gonna hook it up to my regular HDMI because you gotta do some configuration to get this working. And I'm having a little bit of issues with it right now. Maybe it's me, maybe it's the company, I don't know. I'm gonna set that up with my monitor over here and show you that it automatically gets on to the network and we'll be able to SSH into it right from writing it from Raspberry Image Maker. So let me hook this up and show you. All right, as you can see on this screen over here, this is actually the Raspberry Pi operating system. Got my mouse and keyboard hooked up to it. There, you can see that it's already connected to the internet. There's the website, we'll go to YouTube. Crazy Will's Tech Show, and there you go. You can actually see my crazy butt doing a review on a resin 3D printer. No sound, because I don't have any sound hooked up to it. And now we can also SSH into this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and SSH into this. So I'm gonna open up Terminal. And I know the IP address. So it is SSH pi at that IP address, yes. Okay, and then my password. And now we're in that pot. So that's it guys. That's everything you need in one shot to set up your Raspberry Pi. You can do Octoprint, you could do RetroPie. All the cool things that I showed you on this channel, you can set them up so much easier now. So it's really exciting and I think it's really gonna push a lot of people that normally wouldn't have probably touched the Raspberry Pi because it was hard to kind of get into and a lot of tutorials on how to set it up so they could actually get access to it to a bunch of people that are gonna be able to just put their SD card in, flash it real quick, have their Wi-Fi and their SSH all set up and ready to go. That's it for me guys. If this video helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, and if you really want to get my content, ring that bell so you get notified when I make a video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys. So if you've ever gone through the daunting pet So if you've ever gone through the daunting process this isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.